Hi guys, sorry it's been so long. Um, we moved again, as you can tell from my surroundings and my background. Um, this time we actually have natural lighting and I'm recording this on my computer because my phone will not record video longer than 30 seconds. I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't know how to fix it. But um, So I'm recording this on my laptop computer. I'm not really sure how well it's gonna go, but we'll see. Um, but I just wanted to make a curriculum video. I have curriculum here and he, well, there, and then I have um, a stack of curriculum next to me, and um, so we're just, I'm just going to show you guys what I have for third grade, and then my daughter for kindergarten, and maybe do a quick update uh, video for you guys, but um, yeah, so let's just start on what I have. So for my kindergartner, we'll do her first because she has the least amount of stuff, we went straight all Abeka. I didn't think I was going to do it. Um, because as he's gotten older, I've gotten more dissatisfied with Abeka, but I'm still not dissatisfied enough to leave them. Um, so she's doing the I Learn to Read books from Abeka, and then the blend book with the blend ladders. If you watch my, um, my kindergarten Abeka video, it has all this stuff in it. So she's doing that. I got, okay, one thing I really liked about Abeka is this package right here, Charts and Games, this chart, this chart right here, it helped my sons with his vowels so much. We reviewed it every day, and he got, he was, vowels were like the first thing he learned. So I bought this just because of that, this chart right here. I love this chart. So it's going up on the wall, maybe right there. We'll see. Um, and then we have the letters and sounds, K5, and writing with phonics, manuscript, manuscript, K5, and then we have number skills, K5, think and learn, K5, then we have this, which is really funny because we have this same exact book from when I ordered it for my son when he was in kindergarten, and we never used it. So it's just extra printing practice. Um, we probably won't use it, but that's okay. And then the big, huge book of what to do, which I love. I love it. So that's what my daughter's doing. Um, anyway, so um, she will probably do science, history, and Bible with us. Um, we'll just have to see uh, how all that plays out. So, um, that is all of her stuff. It's really easy, really, really, um, it's just easy. Nice, nice and easy. Okay, so now we have this stack right here. Uh, we'll start with these, I guess, because we can. Um, this, here, let's, I'm not sure if we're going to be doing Exploring Creation next year. Um, when I went to order the curriculum, I forgot to order the science. So then when I went back, um, when we got all, all our stuff was in storage for a year. And this is one of the curriculum that was in storage that we've never used. So I haven't used this. And we need a science. So I'm thinking we're going to do this anyway. But I still think it might be a little above his head. You know what I mean? So I don't know for sure if this is 100% what we're going to go with, but um, I thought that we could at least maybe try it. So that's probably what we're doing for science, the Exploring Creation Apologia with the um, Junior uh, Notebooking Journal. So he really enjoyed the astronomy from last year, so hopefully he'll like the creation one just, or the anatomy one just as well. This is the, my planner. I got the Ultimate Homeschool Planner. And it's by Deborah Bell, who also is Apologia. And it's really easy. It's just blank inside. Can you guys see that? It's blank inside. It has six spots. Six spots. And then you can do it. It's completely blank. The months aren't dated or anything. Let's see, I started dating months. That's December. Um, and so you just fill it in so you can set it up however you like. So I like that because we do year-round, and I don't like a calendar that only starts in August. Or like last year with the horrible calendar I got. So you can watch that video. But, yeah. So then this is all his math. This is, all of this is math. I hate math. I say this every year in every video. I hate math. 
But um, one thing I like about Abeka is they do very good with the math, I think. Um, my son is extremely good at math. I usually just have to, like, show him how to do things one time, and he gets it. Now, of course, he has difficult days because he's a kid, and all kids have difficult days. But, um, yeah, he's... Sorry, I think I have something in my eye. He is uh, ridiculously good at it. So we have tests and speed drills, which I probably won't use, but it comes with the kit. And then this is really cool. This has all the answers for the workbook pages that he's going to be doing. Whoop, it fell. So um, I don't have to do math in my head, which is not something that I enjoy doing. I don't enjoy doing math in my head. I just don't. So, um... And then here's the answers for the tests and speed drills. Yeah, answer key. And this is arithmetic three. So this year he will be doing a lot of stuff. Um, let's see, like this page right here. This page stresses me out. It's at the end of the year, so it's okay. But like, I don't even know what any of that stuff means. So yeah, but um, I mean. And it's third grade. That's I, I, I honestly feel like Abeka is above grade level with math. Probably with their reading, too. I don't know. But um, he is he absolutely loves their math. Like, I, I cannot find another math that he and I would both like just as much. Um, and then, uh, for handwriting, we are doing cursive handwriting from Handwriting Without Tears. I got the kit. So we get this chalkboard. I don't know if you can tell that been ripped. This has moved twice. I have not opened it, but it's been moved. It's been in two different houses. So, yay. Um, so that's why it's, the bubble wrap is ripped. Um, there's a hole in the back, too, somewhere. Oh, right there. You see it. Okay, so um, it has the double lines, and uh, yeah, so this will help him with cursive. So we got the kit, so we have the double line chalkboard, and then we have the teacher's guide, which just looks like that. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I got it all in. Hopefully I did. And then I bought the regular double line notebook paper, which looks like this on the back and this on the front. And then this is his actual workbook. Um, looks like this. So. I might switch Delilah to Handwriting Without Tears for next year because I've never liked Rebecca's way of teaching handwriting. That was one of the things I did not like from kindergarten. Um, so I might do Handwriting Without Tears for her for um, first grade up. We'll see. So then I have... Oh, that book is heavy. Story of the World. Oh, the actual... I have the actual book. It's in there, the little thick little chapter book looking thing. It's in my other bookcase over there. Sorry, I forgot to grab it. So this is the tests and answer key. And then this is the activity book for book two, because we did book one last year. And it has like coloring pages and maps. Here's a map. And then to make my life easier, because I didn't like reading out loud every single day, um, I got the audio CDs, so he can listen to them on CD, and I don't have to read out loud to him. And he can follow along in the textbook and then do the book, which is, or the workbook, the map work, whatever it is. So that will be nice. And like I said, Delilah will probably do that with us just because it's really easy for her to sit and listen and color a page. It's not difficult. And then for geography, I got him this. Um, Daily geography just has... It's really easy, a page a day, really easy, not going to be difficult for him. And then, for some reason, I don't remember buying this, but I must have. Cursive Writing Skill Book. Um, so this helps him practice his cursive. And this is from Abeka. Um, apparently I ordered it. It must have came in his poetry kit, because he's doing spelling and poetry with Abeka. So um, I think this will just help him with cursive more. So we'll see if we actually use it. I have no idea. And then we have, well, I think this is, I don't know what this is. Oh, I know what this is. Yeah, hold on. 
So this is his language three book. It is grammar, creative writing, and dictionary skills. So it looks like this. And he'll be doing a page a day, I believe. Yeah, a page a day. But then they have this. And I don't know how you feel about standardized tests, if you don't like them, if you do like them. I don't like standardized tests, but I do believe they need to know how to take a test. Does that make sense? So this is a book of tests for language arts. Um, the book keeps falling off my lap. And it's just... It's just really easy, just how to do a, kinds of sentences, and then that, and then that's it. So they have like a test, it might be a test a month or a test a week or something. Test Two tests a week, I don't know, or two tests a month, something like that. It's not real often. Then they have this, which is the kids read a story. And then you turn the page. And you answer questions about it. And then they get the number right or wrong. So that's something that I really like. Oh, I'm going to move this back now. Just so I know where he's at. Make sure his reading comprehension is right where it's supposed to be. And then I have, because this came with the kit, Arithmetic 3. This is the only teacher's manual I ordered for him um, from Abeka. Normally, this is the first year I'm not getting his language and reading because we also got, I'll go get his readers. You just have to bear with me. Um, I'll go get the readers. But um, this is, uh, it, I like it because when I get stuck, I can refer to it and it will tell me exactly how to teach a math concept. And he responds very well to what they say. If I try and explain it, my words get jumbled up and I don't think I make sense. So I got um, this so I can just explain it verbatim. It's in bold. Let's see if I can find one, an example. See, now I'm not going to be able to find an example. It tells you, see, right here. It tells you exactly what to say, word for word. So I enjoy that. And then it came with the games, the charts and the games for math. Probably won't use these either, but you never know. Okay, I'm going to pause this really quick, and then I'm going to go get his readers. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I went to our other bookshelf, which is over there, and I'll give you guys a tour of the homeschool corner uh, maybe another day, but today is not, today is not that day. Um, so this is our spelling and poetry. It's from Abeka. This is Abeka's third grade. This is it right here. It's super tiny, and what they did... There's a list and a couple of activities, and then that's it. That's it. That's all there is for that week. So then they have list two, list three, et cetera, et cetera. I don't like, like, back at the, towards the end, like, list 34 has 24 words. To me, that's a lot, um, so I don't know if we'll do it. And then here's their list of their poetry that they have. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, so then they have uh, this poem. They have a bunch of different poems. I don't know. And uh, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so now I have... Oh, here's... I told you I had the history book. This is a little history. This is the book he's going to be reading out loud in. Story of the World. We really like it. I enjoy it. It's great. It has little maps in it, and it has um, little drawings. I really like Story of the World. I, there's no reason for me to change it. So his Abeka readers, as you all know, I I like Abeka. I like Abeka's reading program also. I like their reading, and I like their math. So that's what we do. We do their reading and their math. I figure it works good. So this is... Book A, this is 3A, this is the book he'll start with. It's called Paths to Adventure, and it just starts... Oh, wow, there's a lot of dirt in that one. Here, let's... Sorry, this was in storage. It was all messed up. Okay, so we have... This is an example of the story that he'll start off with, and it'll be a couple of pages with some pictures, probably. Just showing random pages. And then... We have book B somewhere in this pile called Footprints. Little harder stuff. 
And then C is the Swiss Family Robinson. Everybody knows this book. Looks like that on the inside. So I like it. You know, it'll it's a story. It'll keep him focused. And then we have Crossroads, which is another bunch of different stories in it. Looks the same. E, Better Bridges. D is somewhere. Oh, wait, no, that was E. I don't even know what I'm doing. It's Pilgrim, or The Pilgrim Boy. I don't know if this is a full book. Yes, I think it is. Yes, this. so this is a book. I have never heard of the book before, but you guys probably have. Um, so that's Pilgrim Boy. That was F. G is Secrets in the Maple Tree. Ooh, that sounds good. And I believe this is another chapter book. Yes. Chapter 11, Run for Your Life. So um, that's another chapter book. And then, what was that? G, H, Worlds of Wonder. This one is different stories altogether. Let's see, different stories. And then, H, I, Doors to Discovery. Another bunch of little ones. And then this one is Pilgrim's Progress. Um, you guys all know it. Looks like that on the inside. I like it because it's for kids. So the kids will be able to read it. And, I mean, that's awesome. So that's all I have for our homeschool curriculum. That's it. Shorter video than I thought it was going to be. Um, if you guys want to see anything in detail further, just leave a comment or message me and let me know if there's anything you want to see a close-up of or if you have any questions. Um, I bought this stuff back in February, so it's a, I'm a little rusty with it. Um, I'm actually going to be homeschool planning. We start in July because we do year-round school, so i got to start planning out our next year and figuring out details and all that sort of thing. But we moved. I'll give you guys a quick tour of the homeschool area. There's my plant my grandma gave me. See it? It's beautiful. Oh, wow, that's really weird on my face. And then, well, that's a weird angle to do it at. Um, on this side, right behind the computer, right there, um, I have two bookshelves filled with the books from our house. So um, in here, let's see, can I do a good example? I have all our homeschool stuff in boxes and stuff, little fabric bins. So, and then behind me on this side is our copier. I didn't have it all last year. We were at our little place for 10 months. It was 350 square feet for four of us for 10 months. And that was, there was no closets. And when I say no closets, I don't mean no closet space. I mean, we had to go out and buy a garment rack to hang our closets up on. There was no closets. There was no pantry. There were no cabinets. It was, the sink was in a plywood box that you couldn't get into, and the tub was in a plywood box. And that was it. Like, it was a teeny tiny, itty bitty trailer with no storage space, no nothing. There was, there wasn't, there was, there, there was no stove, there was no um, oven. It was, it was a long 10 months. So, but we're here in this beautiful house. I love it. Uh, we are above a store. These windows were on the second floor. If we wait for it to adjust, well, you still can't see it. Um, there's power lines right here because we're on the second floor, so we're higher up. We have, like, 10-foot ceilings. I can't really show you. It's not going to work. We have, like, 10-foot ceilings, which is amazing. Oh, my gosh, it's amazing. So um, we love it here. We've been here it's two weeks today, and it's, oh, it's so nice. And we have nothing. Like, here, I'll do a quick go shut my bedroom door. My bedroom door has stuff on the floor. Plus, I really don't want you guys to see my room. It's weird. So I'm going to pan around my living room really quick. And there's the bookshelves, I think. I think I got it. So that's our living room. No couch, no, there's nothing. It's so awesome. It's seriously, my husband and I have talked about it, we joked, and we're becoming minimalists, and so we were just getting rid of all our stuff. When we moved, we had a bunch of stuff in storage, and a lot of that came with because we didn't have anything. I mean, 350 square feet, what are you going to put in it? That was the beds and a dresser, and that was that was it. That was it. So we, when we moved, Adam and I, my husband, Adam, we were talking about it. And we were like, we don't need this stuff. It's been 10 months. We don't need it. We don't use it. So we got rid of a lot of things, a lot, a lot of things. So, um, and then when I was unpacking, I was going through boxes 
and I had a bunch of curriculum I didn't use, so I got rid of it. I had a bunch of like notebooks on how to homeschool the early years, and I don't need that, so I, oh, we got rid of so much stuff. There's actually boxes still piled up in our hallway right here um, that my husband has to take out to the dumpster because I can't lift them, um, full of books that we just don't need, and, and I'm not going to sell random books. To me, that's just weird, like sell a book for 50 cents. It'd be six years before it was all gone. So um, we're chucking everything, and it's just been it's been amazing. So um, yeah, that's our life, my life update, really quick, and my homeschool curriculum update video. And if you guys have any questions, just shoot me a comment or shoot me a message, and let me know what you guys think. Talk to you guys later. Bye.